Welcome to Algonquin Provincial Park's Adventure Lab. That's right, Algonquin Provincial Park, Ontario's oldest and largest provincial park, has an Adventure Lab. And we'd like you to join us at Cache Canada to come along and check it out. The Algonquin Park Adventure Lab is called Adventure Lab Old Airfield Edition. It consists of eight locations which must be visited in order. This is identified by locations being colored gray. The starting point is the open plot of land that was the old airfield and was subject of a prescribed burn in 2012. The location description and information board tell the reasons for the burn and show before and after images of the burn area. The park keeps this area open in part as a reminder of the cultural heritage of the old airfield. The answer to this location is on the information board. We move on to the next location and marvel at the nature around us. What was once a railway is now a trail and the answer to another location is here at this information board. Yay. While it's not guaranteed that one would meet a bear, they are known to frequent the area due to the abundance of food. Breaking off the main trail, we're now headed on a side trail to location number five. This is an interesting feature, only in this spot it seems there's moss and lichen growing in with what look like strawberries. If you're given access to create an adventure lab, you'll probably notice that you get five stages. Well this one has eight. Sometimes you might see seven or even ten. A 10 stage adventure lab usually goes with a mega event, but this adventure lab has eight stages. That's because it was created by an entity and not a specific geocacher in themselves. So they get a little bit more than what we would if we were creating our own adventure lab. Signs of animal life or did somebody forget to pick up after their dog? At the edge of the open field is a forest of pine and spruce and that's what this location talks about is the white pine which is one of Ontario's tallest trees and you need to know from the description how many pine needles are in a bundle. How many are there? This adventure lab takes about an hour and a half, but you might take a little longer to enjoy all the beautiful plant life that's a little different than most other places. Well, it's interesting as you stroll along through this adventure lab in this location in Algonquin, it's neat to look far off into the distance to see what's there. The hills and the colors of the trees and where the path is going. But as Lyric Glass said, it's also nice to pay attention to what's close by at hand and even under your feet or right beside the trail, close, not far away. Here's a little tip for when you're doing an adventure lab. When an adventure lab is linear, that means you must complete one location after another in sequential order. The different locations will be gray in color. If so if you tried to click on the other locations, you won't be able to bring them up until after you complete the first one, the second, the third, and so on. If an adventure lab was designated by the lab creator to be done in any order, all the locations on the map would appear in the color orange. It's easy to often just zip through the adventure labs, but I recommend read the descriptions and take some time to enjoy the beauty.
right on the shores of that river, this is a place where turtles came to lay their eggs. And either they've been dug up or they've hatched and swam in to start their new lives. Crossing our path is a woolly bear caterpillar, which have a reputation for being able to forecast the coming winter weather. If the rusty band is wide, then it will be a mild winter, or more severe if there is more black. In this last location of this adventure lab, you get a different perspective of the Lake of Two Rivers than you do when you're traveling on Highway 60 that most motorists see. And isn't that part of the point of an adventure lab? To take you to different locations and give you different perspectives on the world than you might not otherwise see, even from another geocache. And that's the beauty of doing an adventure lab. So if you haven't done an adventure lab yet, we strongly encourage you to look up the app, download it to your phone, and go out and have yourself an adventure. Well, that was a really enjoyable adventure lab. I put it to you, Ontario Parks, for doing a great job. Yeah, um, getting up close and seeing the small bits of nature, amazing. So get out there, load up the Adventure Lab app, and find yourself an adventure. Keep watching, there's more adventure labs and caches to find. Yeah, where will geocaching and adventure labbing take Thank you? you.